Hello and welcome back to episode 34 of Stopping the Rot with Liverpool FC on Championship Manager 1997-1998. And first things first, if you're new around here, hit that sub button down below and hit the like button if you're enjoying the content as well. But let's just crack on because I want to try and fly through this a little bit today. So uh, last time out we won against Hapoel Tel Aviv in the Champions League. We beat Derby, Leicester and then we also beat, rounded it off with a good win against Fenerbahce in the Champions League. So we're off to a good start so far this season. Today we've got a bigger test in Atletico Madrid. We've got the Merseyside Derby versus Everton, and we've also got Manchester City. And if we've got time, we're going to have the, I think, the final game against Hapoel Tel Aviv as well, or certainly another Champions League game anyway. Um, we've had a couple of results. Before I jump in, you'll probably hear my voice. Yeah, I'm ill again. Uh, we just got back. It was half term as I'm recording this last week. Had a bit of a couple of weeks since I've recorded, so I'm a little bit rusty, but out of sorts with the game as well, where we are. But um, yeah, had half term. Had a nice, lovely holiday with the family. Got back literally that evening and got a cold coming on and through the weekend over the jubilee weekend uh very busy but very ill and it's now tuesday uh daughter's not back at school either because she's not very well uh, as well and yeah we're all just feeling a little bit sorry for ourselves she's had to go down to the hospital for an appointment today so she's out of the house so i've got a bit of time and here we are we're recording i wasn't sure if i was gonna be recording today i won't be recording tomorrow because i've got to get a radiator repaired and I think a British gas inspection or something as well so another busy day tomorrow as well but it is a cold it's a cold it's a cold a little bit of a sore throat it's not covid I've done the tests we're all good on that front as far as I'm aware I don't think I've even had covid yet it's ridiculous I get every little bug under the sun but covid I've seen to avoid unless I had it right at the start uh game wise so we had Chelsea uh since uh which we won 2 nil. we were very lucky according to my notes I don't remember this game at all uh, we were lucky, really lucky. Uh, the penalty changed the game, apparently. I mean, yeah, very equal game, isn't it? Uh, Rui Costa, 53 minutes, and then Marco Owen grabbed one late on. So, yeah, and I think they're struggling, Chelsea, as well. They, I don't think they're doing particularly well. No, they're not. Um, and then we had a good 4-0 win against Sheffield Wednesday away from home. Uh, a full rotation in this because it was the Cup, League Cup third round. Uh, we... It was all go early on, apparently. Again, I mean, very equal game, but the scoreline is anything but. Uh, all go early on, so they missed a penalty on four minutes after we'd taken the lead through Jamie Day on three minutes. Um, and Richard Wright saved... A, oh, so yeah, Richard Wright saved the penalty. They didn't miss it. He saved it. Uh, we took control back, uh, winning 4-0 with Rush banging in two, which is Morris, isn't it? So, yeah, good his own sort of appearance and showing for him Hinchcliffe with the fourth or the third actually but uh, an own goal there so consigning Sheffield Wednesday to go out the cup and then we went to another Sheffield United uh, Sheffield team we hosted Sheffield United at Anfield um, sorry about that had a phone call apparently there's a protest going on at the hospital where my wife's trying to get parked to get my daughter in so that's fantastic don't know what it's about but apparently they're hoarding around some car I'll find out on the news later I'm sure um so I don't know why I've got this written down, but I've got 3 nil win and then Everton thumped, oh, I guess it was just another result on the day. Everton were thumped 5-1, shockingly, by Sheffield Wednesday. And obviously we know Sheffield Wednesday were down the bottom because we flicked up the league a minute ago. And I think we've got Everton coming up, so that's a good omen for us, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, so today we've got Athletes K Madrid. Let's just jump in because we've got four games to try and get through. Now we have got some shuffling around to do, so we'll just do that. We'll stick Paige in for Honcho, who's suspended. Another great season for him. Dyer is wanted by Man United. We've dropped his price a little bit. Lee Hughes is wanted by a few clubs. We've dropped his price a bit. But Manham is wanted. We've listed him as well. Man United coming in for him. I don't know why we're doing it because we're not here for very much longer. But, you know, whatever. Uh, Weir's doing okay. Owen's not having the best season in Europe. Ronaldo's doing quite well, isn't he? Bat Stewart is doing very well as well, which is good to see. Lovely stuff. Uh, there's a foreign limit as well. I think Berger might be listed as well. We're trying to get rid of him. I don't know why we're doing this because we kind of need him for Europe, but whatever. Uh, there was obviously a reason for it in my mind when I did that a few weeks ago. Uh, we just need a three points here. Really. I didn't look at the league, the group standings. We'll look at it after, see where we sit after this game because it really, it's, from what I've seen, we've won a few games and it all really comes down to how we do against Atletico Madrid. I imagine they're the team that are sort of putting the pressure on in the in the group, I guess, or I think it may be leading the way. I think we won the three games certainly before, so I think we I don't think we're in trouble in that regard. They obviously could take over us today. Um 
I was about to say something then, but I don't know if it's going to be public by the time this video comes out. It probably will be, so I'll, I'll, I'll hold back. But there will be some stuff coming out probably on Twitter soon. And as we go 1 0 down, obviously Janino scoring great. Um, there's some, yeah, some exciting stuff I've, I've been invited to take part in. So that'll be going live soon. I've been working on that last night as well while I was a bit ill. I was like, do you know what? The missus is watching Love Island. I don't want to watch it. I can glance over it for, you know, the good bits. Um, but yeah. Uh, it gave me an opportunity to to work on that in the background. So we are going to bring on Christensen there. We're going to bring in Biscord for Rui Costa, who's having a bit of an average game. And everyone's having a bit of an average game, to be honest. Patrick Vieira is going to come in as well. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. It's obviously going to affect the group. It's not a great result, losing 1-0 away. I, I imagine I think we beat them at home. So I don't think it's... Uh, and they got Didier Domi, someone we actually should have maybe gone in for. Uh, as a bit of defensive backup, um, but we didn't, um, and obviously the team in our group are taking advantage of that as he gets man of the match against us. I didn't, I don't know how open that game was. I mean, yeah, they certainly deserved the result, didn't they? We just didn't turn up at all. Fenerbahce win their game, so they've actually jumped above us to second. So this is not good. We need to win our last two games. We could still finish second in the group and not go through. Be unlikely with 15 points because they're not looking like they're going to get anywhere near 15. They're not looking like they're going to get anywhere near 15. Even the top team are just about going to do it. They're not looking like it. Lazio could. PSV could. Okay, not great. But anyway, we go. We're going to go for the Derby game, which oh, John Curtis suspended. Brilliant. Honcho's back, though, so fantastic. Let's uh, on to the next game, Derby. That was a quick turnaround. It's not Derby. It's Everton first. So Page back in. Page on the bench though. Um, who do we do? We need to change anything else. I don't think we do. Uh, Christensen will come in for Shearer on the bench. Obviously, cup tied. In fact, no. Maybe we're. In fact, one, two, three. Yep, that's fine. Let's see what we can do against Everton. The most of the time, can we bounce back after that disappointing result in the week in Europe? Obviously, they've. Recently been smashed by Sheffield Wednesday. They were struggling. But of course, they take a two-minute lead against us. Gilmar with the goal. I don't know who he is exactly. Um, yeah, great. Oh, and they've done they've done the double. Seven minutes. Gareth Farrelly, did I just see there? Oh, oh Flunker Ferguson. Okay. Now, we need to rally back because this is a travesty. We've hit the bar. Batistuta. Who's O'Toole? He's keeping them out. Oh, Heidenstrom. Where's Heinstrom playing? Because I thought I saw Gerard as well. Where's Gerard? Oh, we, have we got two CMs now? I think we've got two CMs now, haven't we? I changed the formation, didn't I? And they scored again. They scored with practically all three shots they've had. All three chances. We've had some great chances and just not scored. With great players, Ronaldo, Batistuta. Just can't score. Complete contrast to probably what the last episode was. I mean... This is ridiculous. We were getting all excited, you know, Everton have just been battered by battered by Sheffield Wednesday, but nope, doesn't make a difference. What a shocking turn of events. I mean, in the league, I think we're flying, so it's not going to hurt us that badly. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong. I have to look at the league table. Didn't look at look at it, did we? We had a quick glance, but I didn't look at us. I was looking at I think Chelsea or someone. Batistuta finally on the hour. Gets a goal. I mean, oh, should have had another one. Should have had another one there. The, the 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 ping pong rebounds, all that sort of stuff, should have made another goal for us. Can we grab a second just to really put the pressure on for the last? Batistuta does again. Now, game on. 25 minutes to go. Uh, we're going to make some changes. So, Rui Costa's having a shocker. And Ronaldo's having a shocker. And... Steven Gerrard's having a shocker. Jamie Day's coming in. I was going to take McAuley off because he's on a six, but Gerrard was on a five. And I think that was one of the subs. I think that was Biscord. It is. Three all. 20 minutes to go. 15. Can we grab the, the winner? Can we grab a late winner just to really hurt Everton that bit more? This game, although we know we need to do what we need to do in the league, this is local pride. Last minute, come on. Oh, we didn't. Don't get me wrong, being free and up and drawing free all will hurt them enough. But a 4 3 loss would have been, they got Teddy Sheridan on the bench, would have been absolutely disastrous for them. But we've managed to, 
we've managed to hold out, well, hold out, come back and salvage a draw out of nothing, seemingly. Um, anyway, but we've got Man City next, so we'll, we'll have a, look at, a quick look at the league table, actually. It should go quite quickly. I've got my orange Lucas Aid right here, so I'm just going to take a sip because I am feeling rather rotten right now. Here we go, and my voice is clinging to me by dear life. Tottenham win to keep the pressure on. Okay, there are only three points in it, but we avoided that loss. We kept that zero on the in the loss column, which is good. It's just that fact that we're just letting three goals. We've only conceded nine goals all season, and three of them against Everton. I mean, we granted a third. But anyway, we're going to come back from Man City in a few days. Okay, here we are. That was a bit longer for me than a few days because there was an international break in the middle. Shearer got injured before it, so it was withdrawn. But there has been a bit of movement. As you can see, there's a space extra in the squad. Uh, Lee Hughes gone to Everton. <laughs> Blackburn coming for him and Huddersfield. He chose Everton uh, of the three. 1.8 million. Probably not as much as we could have got and should have got. But do you know what? He's out. And in terms of the team, I'm thinking, I was thinking because um, we've got Berg on the list. But Rui Costa, last few games, hmm, his current form is great apparently. Right, we'll have a little bit of a deep dive. Um, but form. Who's playing who's in poor form? No one at the moment. Page is there. Gerard's good. So they're all good and above. Morale. Batistuta, okay. And Dominic Matteo, okay. Okay. That's maybe something we need to address. Batistuta's scoring the goals. So I'm not too concerned. There's quite a lot of okays. Hmm. Okay. Rui Costa as well. The last few games has been pretty woeful in all honesty um right we're gonna bring uh Rui Costa out for Berg and Batistuta is fine but Dominic Matteo is having a bit of a sh bit of a shocker season really so Robert Page isn't much better so he'll come in Matteo on the bench yeah I think that'll do Sorry about that, I could hear some rummaging outside, it was the postie. I thought I was going to have to get a delivery then, but he didn't knock it. Whatever it was, had a big fud on the doorstep, so not too sure. Could be an anniversary, late anniversary present or saying It came well, our anniversary. My wife's seventh wedding anniversary was while we were away, so yeah, that was nice. But still seeing a few things. We've got five, we've got too many foreign players in. It's not good. Um, right, Weir can come off the out. And do you know what? Morris can go on the bench. She was injured. Now, do you know what? Mm. Morris, he's in good form, apparently. I mean, he scored two in his last game, so it's not too bad. Let's see. And I don't think that worked. You know, he's do the speed up. Where's Hines not playing? He's in centre midfield, isn't he? So he's doing okay. Now, is that going to make a difference? Obviously, striker-wise, we're a little bit... I say short. It's only because Shearer's out and we've got, the, we've got Berger in. If we had the foreign players as an option, you know, potentially Weir could have been in for... Batistuta, but then Batistuta's banging them in, so I don't really want to take him out despite his morale or his form. I don't know why he's classed as, was it low or whatever it was, or okay. Excuse me, I'm just going to cough. <coughs> Sorry about that, my voice is literally just about clinging on. Now we need to, obviously it's not the same kind of level of Liverpool Man City as it was in the season just gone, but we still need to do what we've got to do and get the result, especially considering this today has not been the best episode at all. 40 minutes, we grabbed the goal, we did take a little bit of a deep dive at morale, and, but then everyone was kind of in the same boat. There was not much that we could have improved, um, unfortunately. And I don't really know what we can do to address it. I think we've got. A, I think that's possibly why I looked at maybe listing some of the players is because we've got a few players whose morale is low and it brings everyone else down. If we can get them out, you know, players that aren't playing, players that are unhappy, get them out. The mood in the club changes. Batistu to 3-0. Owens finally grabbed a goal. He's had a lot of chances. In this episode, not taking any. I think he put Batistuta through for one of the Everton goals, but that was about it. As we're coasting the game a little bit now. It's about right, really. I mean, they've got Andy Myers in their team. They're not the top team. They had a good season last season, I think, after they came up. Probably over overachieved a little bit. Um, let's see, we've got about 25 minutes left. We're going to make some changes. We're going to give... Uh, Ian Rush, a run out. He's going to come in. I mean, Patrick Berger's playing well. He's playing well. Uh, Ronaldo's not. We're going to take 
No, we're not going to take Batistu off with a hat trick. That would be silly. Gerard. Yeah, why not? And Biscard for Patrick Berger. He's got an eight. Let him get his eight. Let him go off. Keep his form up. Um, and see what if that sort of perks things up in the squad a little bit. I mean, we started off a little bit slow in this game. It took, it was four, three goals in basically eight minutes. Eight in-game minutes. We had a bit of a storm there, didn't we? But not much else in the game. But I'm guessing... And Morris off the bench. Now, maybe, just maybe, he's ready to take a bit more of a step in this team than we gave him credit for. As we take another swip of Lucas Aid. Uh, just see... And the good thing about that Lucas Aid is it's isotonic, which means it gets to your first fast. Was that the quote of Johnny Barnes? I'm not sure. Something like that. Anyway, they've got Paul Ince. Of course they have. We sold Paul Ince to Man City. He's not having the best season for them. I don't know how they're doing. They've got Dave Watson from Barnsley. Mendieta's in there. Who else? Anyone we recognise who's signed for them? Kenny Lunt, I think, from Crewe. He may well have been at Man City at this point. I'm not sure. Ed DeHoy on the bench. Andy Myers. Um... Rimmer from Red Dwarf there, of course. But a good 4-0 win, really. It takes us into good form into this next game, which I think is Hapoel Tel Aviv. So hopefully we can grab a result in this game and hopefully, hopefully pray that Fenerbahce can do us a huge favour against Atletico. Even a draw puts us back in pole position because I'd expect... To, I'm not going to take it for granted, but I'd expect us to win our last two group games. But I'd also expect Atletico Madrid to win the next two group games as well. And that is the concern that I think they will. And it's they've got the head-to-head -head on us. Well, they're top now, aren't they? So they've either got the goal difference or the head-to-head -head on us. One of the two. Uh, what is it? Is it goal difference? It's one goal. Assume I'm assuming it's goal difference rather than head-to-head. -head. So if we can just, I don't know, f pump these teams a little bit better than, than um, Atletico do. Obviously, we've got to make up a goal difference already then there's no reason that we can't go above them. We're only allowed three in this game. We've got one, two, three. There's no bench options. Um, how's Rui Costa doing in Europe? He's doing well, so we'll, we'll, we'll stick him back in for Europe. We've only got the, the, the only had the four out there. I mean, Ronaldo would probably be the one. Ugh. Would have been the one I'd have taken out, and he's got injured. All right, we'll see what Rushy can do. We just need to get, I don't know, a four or five nil here. We're at home. I think Atletico are away, so the odds and obviously Fenerbahce are tougher than Hapoel. We just need to do better against Hapoel than obviously Atletico will, and obviously then we've got to do better against Fenerbahce than they do. It's a good start. Ten men after ten minutes and a penalty to give us one nil lead. Rui Costa with it. Ten minutes. They've got eighty minutes to hold on with ten men against what's starting to look like a bit of a rampant team. Batistuta makes it 2-0. Now this is an opportunity for us to really just really just put the put the numbers in. Oh, come on. Every chance I'm expecting a goal. Every other chance. That's two in a row we've not had one. Three in a row. We need to start making these count. Batistuta, 3-0. There we go. Just need to get the numbers going. If we get top, we guarantee it. We're looking good. We're looking good either way for a best second place. A lot of the teams that are in the second place spots aren't looking as as good as as our position. Goal difference, points, all of it. Well, I didn't look at the goal difference, but I'm guessing our goal difference is probably superior to them if their points aren't as good. Um, not a true science, but it makes sense. Now, can we get sort of four or five? Keep a clean sheet. Four or five. Don't go down to ten men ourselves now. Yellow card. Uh, right, let's see. We've got 15 minutes to go. A few yellow cards creeping in, which I'm not happy about. We're keeping it. Don't, don't let one in. Don't let a stupid one in. It always does it. Can we... Oh, what's going on? Um, Makaleli is going to come out for Vieira. Uh, Rui Costa's playing well, so I don't really want to take him out. Um, I mean, everyone's playing well, really. There's not much else to just let it run its course, really. I'm not too concerned about the yellow cards. 3-0. Could have been better. Should have been better, probably, with the circumstance, I'd say. But 
we'll you know we'll all take it and just hopefully we can do that a little bit better. We've got seven fifty grand, or just hope as a result. Uh, uh, Fenerbahce couldn't help. Uh, was it? I mean, they didn't even try. I bet they try hard against us. Car two goals in what five minutes there? Has that put us above? It has, so it's goal difference, and we currently need a goal difference. So we just need to match what Atletico Madrid do, really. Um, we one, we scored one more goal than them, but we've conceded one more of them. So we've actually got. What is doing it then? Because we've got, a, we got. Is it goal scored? I'm guessing it's goal scored. Because it's level point. We've got level. They've conceded l less than us, but scored less than us. Yeah. I think it's the same, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, where we're going to come back to next episode, we need to come back in December, which I would say would probably need to be that Fenerbahce game. Uh, yeah, so we're going to come back for Fenerbahce, probably Leeds and Middlesbrough. Take us just up to that Christmas period, and then we can just sort of crack on from there. Um, it gives me an opportunity to play a little bit more, maybe record another episode today to try, you know, try and plough through this season so I can start working on my next save idea, uh, which I, I've started, but I've not really actually put it into, into play in the game. I've got the idea and I've got it down on paper, but not in the game. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's episode, uh, please do drop a like down below and hit that uh, subscription button as well if you want to keep up to date with all the content that's coming out and stuff that's coming up. And not just on, in terms of myself, there's a uh, there's something else going on at the moment as well, which I'm part of as well. So yeah, I'll try and maybe release something nearer to the time with, with regards to that as well. But anyway, until next time, I'll see you later. Take care. Goodbye.